What's up, good people? This your boy Rodney East. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, please like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. And if you're already subscribing, please turn on those notifications so you won't miss a thing. was what a friend we have in Jesus. Classic hymn. I had a request to play that and kind of break it down and give my approach as far as how I play that and how I think towards the chords I play along with the melody. Of course, I'm always driving home that the melody is always key in a song. If the melody cannot be heard, then a lot of people won't know what song you're playing. So um, I started off in A flat, G sharp, whichever one you want to call it. I started off with the melody. So as I'm playing it, um, you may hear a lot of, like I call it my grace notes, that gives a more feeling and an in-depth interpretation of my intent, intentions on how I'm playing the song because I'm meaning it from my heart. Anytime I sit before this keyboard, I mean everything that I play. 
I'm intentional with everything that I play. So, the melody. got through playing that melody will never change or go off course anything I'm doing with my left hand and I want to do better as far as explaining what my left hand is doing other than what I'm playing with the melody as far as with my right hand so like I said before I'm doing a lot of block chords when I'm playing the piano um, I'm staying within a foundation as far as building the bed under the melody that I'm playing but the foundation that I built with my left hand has got to make sense with the melody of my right hand. So if I'm playing. So let's start off with that. So, so I can start off with that. I'm playing just a regular A flat. So but what I usually do is I'll stretch it out. Or I'll, I'll play. It's still in the root form of A flat. I'm usually coming within the third. I'm always playing like a third off the melody. So, so, three, so that's the third off the melody. But I'm adding the extra within that A flat frame with the A flat and the E flat. So, and, but it all makes sense to me as far as like you can go any kind of way. Depending on how you are with matching up chords, it's it's almost like it's it's not a thought process to me because I've been playing it, I guess, and practicing and doing this for so long. It comes natural. And I really sometimes, a lot of times, don't even think what my left hand is doing. I'm still focused in hearing that melody in my head. So, so it can go any kind of way. My melody, you, you go to the five suspended, so I'm, but I chose. I'm doing like a B flat over G, and it's like your your chord progressions they they kind of stretch, you know, as far as like your imagination and, and your creativity, as far as what you're trying to do. sure I try to break down as many of the chords that I'm doing so that what's in my head hopefully it makes sense as far as what I'm telling you guys so but if you can if you notice that my melody doesn't change it could be as simple as that
it in. So, um, and I'm going kind of a lot of places because that's just how my mind works. It's it's almost like never the same twice, but I always make sure that I give it it I play it in its most simplistic form. The first time I go around. Because what I try to tell people is that you're almost playing to two audiences. You playing to the consumer, and then you playing to the musicians. The musicians are understand all of the different chord changes but the consumer will always understand that melody once that melody is driven on then you can i, I say you you can appease the, the musician so in the most simplistic form Always will be the third of the key that I will probably transition to, which which is the third of E. One, two, three. To my different key changes and that's something that i've probably been doing for a while so going from e it'll always go to the third of the next key that i'm going to which is c so you got c one two three so e is going to be the third of c which is what i'm going to so so asking how I do you know my runs and licks and stuff like that um I always try to tell people that scales I know I know being taught in school I've never had music lessons or well I had music lessons when I was young um a lady by the name of Cynthia Nunn she started off teaching my two sisters but um I started playing at seven years old and um the gift of God and I'm it came about she showed me some things but i've never like learned how to read music but i know that there are particular scales that music teachers teach as far as perfect as far as your fingering is concerned and i always tell people do what's comfortable for you so runs and everything i practice and i make sure that it's comfortable for me so when i try to execute it i know it's going to be the way that i feel comfortable executing i don't try to think correct fingering so I do, I make sure every finger on my hand is a strong finger. So there are no weak fingers. I try to make sure I exercise all of those fingers. Okay, so let's go back to them.
anytime you heard me playing any of the structure of this music, I've always stayed on that melody. That melody never changes. And that's what I want to make sure I drive home with you guys. So um, I'm going to try to go back to some of the chords that I was playing that you probably will have some questions about as far as why I went that way. Like I said, it's not a thought process to me. It's almost like a natural thing where I'm not even concerned or thinking about what my left hand is doing. Like my melody is always thought about with this. So a turn around. So that can be played many different ways. You'll turn around. You can go a diminish. My melody still same. that I play around with um, that, like I said it's almost instinct and natural for me to just like not even think more you know a lot a lot of times I take myself out of what I'm playing and I'm mainly focused on the melody okay. and um, like I said make sure that that melody is driven in your most heartfelt intention so so let's go back and let's play around. So play around with it. So. to a run and, and skip over notes in the middle of every note deserves to be heard i always tell people that and I, I i practice on my dexterity a lot because each note i want to make sure that you hear each note that i'm intentionally trying to play
this thing, but yeah, so. talking than probably the idea plan but um i'm hoping that i'm just kind of sharing my thought process as far as just the different ways and how i'm approaching how i am approaching you know the song so um i appreciate you guys for watching and um i want you to share the video you know if, if you want to um you know let other let other people know you know different approaches first know the hymn you know first know you know the melody I'm a stickler about the melody. I'm gonna drive home the melody every time you hear me talk. Anytime you hear me play, you're gonna hear that melody. Um, make sure you um, experiment with different chords. Make sure it sounds, it sounds, you know, it sounds good to the melody that you're that you're playing on top of. Um, but you know, I'm not gonna try to get into your creativity. But I'm um, just trying to make sure it makes sense. But you know. Play and practice as much as you possibly can because your gift is only as strong as you make it. So, and um, also practice on your dexterity. So, like I said, you know, fingering is on you as far as how it is that you want to make sure that these notes play. You know, you know, practice on that. Practice on them and everything. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, I will see you in the next video. So make sure you like, you subscribe, and you turn on those notifications. All right. And I'm um, talking about hymns. Um, check out the link in the um, description. And, um, I have a new project out, um, him and I project, and I play a lot of different hymns with a lot of different artists. So I um, hope it blesses you and um, share it with somebody else. I hope it blesses them. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you at the next video.